Senior Constables Brett Price and Dave Hornby were the first on the scene in the wake of last Monday's shooting. The first person they saw was Constable Darrell Green, staggering around the back of the car. And one thing that I remember him saying, because he'd been shot in the face, was, I'm trying to find my teeth, I'm trying to find my teeth. The officers admitted they were frightened by what they might find when they arrived at Chermside and were relieved to find their colleagues alive. But they say the shootings have had a terrible impact on the entire force. I know some of the guys that I worked with the next shift when we went back to work, um, their wives and partners didn't want them to go, so it's very difficult. But there's still no sign of the wanted gunman. Helicopters with heat-seeking equipment joined the search last night after a resident in McDowell on Brisbane's north saw a man in a local creek bed. But again, the search turned up no clues. We're somewhat frustrated, I suppose, that we haven't caught him yet, but that frustration in itself inspires further determination to keep going. They want to keep the public interest alive, releasing this home video of the suspect, Nigel Parodi, known as Jesse James. Amazing. That's a lot of fun, hey? The state government wasn't having much fun today, though. As the hunt for Parodi continued, a press release appeared on the Premier's department website thanking the police service for successfully tracking down the gunman. Because of our time commitments, things are prepared in advance. This was only a draft. Frankly, I hadn't even seen it. The Premier says it was a mistake. Daya Clark, ABC News. When I look around this room, no.